Hey, yo, what's good, NFL fans, Knuckles family, NFC East fans, Eagles fans, your boy, our Knuckles coming at you with another video of the part, uh, we're at part four with my, uh, the part four of my, uh, division winners predictions, and right now we're going to be doing the AFC North, last video we did the NFC North, so, what's interesting is that when I was doing AFC North, I first been thinking like, man, this might be, this might be pretty difficult, because, you know, First of all, let's get out the way. Bengals are not winning this division. Like that, like that's not happening. Because right now they did not get, they did not draft an alignment for Joe Barrow. So who, don't be surprised if he gets hurt again. Um, Jamar Chase uh, now he was having uh, some issues breaking coverage at camp, but I don't think that's gonna last long. I think he's eventually he's gonna like get the hang of things because this guy took a year off. He opted out to play. He opt, I believe he opted out to play in college playing college so uh he's definitely you know a bit on a rusty side right there so i think he'll definitely come back and get a screw back because i i you, with that talent like that there's no way he um he should he should uh there's no he's not gonna be able to like learn and, and adjust and break coverage so like it was only a matter of time before he get got that before he got that out of his head because brain I mean, dropping passes is one thing but Bringing coverage, that's another thing. That, I think that's even worse than dropping the ball, honestly, because the highest way to be able to even catch the ball, you can't even uh, break coverage with the defenders on you like that. Like, that, that's bad. But anyways, uh, I just... I hope he does not get hurt, but just not getting in line, man, I just don't think that was the best idea. But anyways, yeah, the Bengals are win this vision, right? So it's going to be between the, the Ravens, uh, Ravens, Browns, and Steelers, right? So... And they're like, okay, Baltimore, right? I love Lamar Jackson. He's the man, but he's part of those people that's not getting the vaccine. I think he's, he had COVID twice. So, like I said, I'm like I said, I'm not going to force anyone to take the vaccine, but yo, man, wait, wait. It's AFC, wait, AFC South, AFC North. Oh. So, oh my bad. The uh, description was description was wrong, but I'll be uh, I'll be able to change that in, in the uh, while I'm editing this video. But I don't, man. I don't want him to be the reason why they forfeit the game because if that's the case, you know, people are gonna get mad at him. Not granted, I mean, there's, there's other people on the team that didn't get the vaccine on the Ravens, but you know, it's gonna be an iffy situation if he if he gets COVID for the third time because that's. Really gonna piss people off. But anyways, despite all that, right? I love Lamar Jackson. But he doesn't have any weapons though. Like Juju Smith didn't, didn't go over there. For, first of all, I don't even even get Juju Ju Smith. Like, I don't think that that's you need more than just him. Like he Juju Smith already proven to me that he can't be a number one receiver. Like he, he just can't. Like maybe he could this year. You never know. But like he showed that, you know, with two seasons of uh is it two seasons? Uh, yeah, two seasons with uh with uh Mitchell Brown not being there, he can't be the number one receiver. Like he he's showing that. Unfortunately, that's not he, he can't. Like maybe, maybe maybe just maybe he might uh, have a better season this year. But to have to be the number one guy, I just haven't seen it yet. But um, yeah, too. I held in go over there. Um, he didn't get like did they get like a huge deep threat for the guy? Like I, I don't. I just don't know what to what actually know. They did drop this one receiver. I, I forgot I forgot the dude's name. Uh I thought I had that and I thought I had it over on my uh on my screen here, but I gotta, I gotta look into that again. But they drafted this one receiver. I believe he is hurt right now. Uh, let me just check this out. Baltimore Raven. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Rish, uh Ravens, uh Rashad Bateman. But we don't know what, what he's gonna do. I mean, yeah, he's he's a rookie. Um he could end up being number one receiver down the road, but like I don't, it's not, not too much known, known on this guy because I mean he's picking at twenty seven. Most of the top receivers are already uh already drafted, so they, they can't be depend on this rookie to uh somehow be the be the guy for Lamar. Like I, I just don't see it. And two of his running backs got hurt. There was a running backs on IR, so that's a shot on the foot because. They're known for running the ball. The first thing they want to do is running the ball. Now, maybe that's kind of the reason why T.Y. Hilton or Juju Smith did not come to uh, Baltimore because they're a run first team. But that's Steelers are the run first team, too. Same with the Colts. But that's neither here or there. 
But uh, yeah, uh, they're I guess they're the receivers that want the ball, but the uh, Ravens are nearly you know for running the ball first, then passing the ball second. So without the running backs there, I I, I just feel still Lamar just you just give Lamar Jackson just a, a legit deep threat. He would be a lot better. Like the kids only his kids only getting better. Like uh, his hands to his fourth year now. Granted, he has to learn how to throw the ball better. Cause it, had he had he know does throw the ball better, maybe he would have been Buffalo. I, I doubt it. Um, I thought Buffalo was a better team per se. I thought Buffalo was a better team than the Ravens. Now the Ravens have a great defense. Defense is going to be on point, but it's. Uh, no, on offense, man, I just with the running backs being out, I, I just don't see it. I just don't see. I feel like they're asking as a kid to do a lot, and yeah, he let's like Lamar Jackson is no joke, but he just does not have the weapons. You get the tight end, you just don't have the the deep threat weapons. Um, also, uh, was there really that many good wide receivers in this? Uh, in like in in the free market, honestly. Uh, free agency. I don't know. Shit, I don't know. But they, they probably just, they, they probably weren't like the. I don't know. I don't want to discredit them like that, but it's like, was there many much to choose from? I, I don't know. But yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't see the Ravens. They could potentially make a wild card. Like, don't be sure they could make a wild card. But like, I'm not really good there. It is very difficult. I'm thinking about it right now. I I, I don't know. Maybe uh, I mean, close the season's on the round right around the corner. Uh, uh oh man. Uh, oh fuck it. I'm gonna choose to make a wild card. Fuck it. I'm. I I know. I know. We didn't get to it yet, but I'm gonna choose the more. To, uh. Oh man. Oh. I'm gonna choose the Patriots. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. I'll set it for later. I'll have the Ravens get a wild card. I'll, I'll stick with that. All right. So okay, there you have the Browns and the Steelers. Uh, Browns. Okay, the OBJ is coming back. Maybe, maybe he mature. Maybe he's gonna be with Diva, but that's yet to be rain to be seen. Uh, Browns have one of the best offensive linemen. Uh, offensive of line, not my man. Offensive line. In the league, yeah, yeah, that two hundred two hundred running back monster and um, uh, blah, 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 uh, Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. So there you go, right there. Uh, like I said, uh, OBJ will be back. Um, dang, Jarvis Landry, he'll be back. Um, defense, I like them getting uh John Johnson. I like that. I got that, and they drafted a corner. Um. Uh, Greg Newsom. Now I'm not saying he's gonna be like a like a top tier corner, but like they did they did they did show up the defensive side. Now Jaden Clowney signed to the Browns, but I don't think that's gonna do much. Honestly, he hasn't he just hasn't been the same unfortunately. Like uh sorry. <laughs> uh, they also got signed who else did they sign? Let me check this list right here. Who else did they sign? Uh Tyrus McKinley to one year contract. Um so you know, um, I also decided Malik Jackson twenty-year contract. So they, they, I like what they did on, on the defensive side of the ball. So th- the team is set right there. They're like the team is set. Um, uh, it just comes out of Baker Mayfield. Um, I think you know he learned a little bit like after the hypes for the second season. He got the right coach, and now people people still down because you know. He had that running game, which you know, every time we, when a quarterback, when a team is like mainly known for running the ball, especially for a young quarterback, they kind of question whether like he's the guy or not. But I think he's the guy. Like I like that he's not a sure sh- could get quarterback. He's not. He's not like those uh, those uh nice guy quarterbacks. No, he keeps it real, man, and I respect that. And I think. I think he's gonna have a, a, a really good year this this season. Like I said, he's he's humble now. He's got the right team around. Him. He's got the right coach around him. So I think the Browns are for real. The Browns are back. Now, granted, they could have won that game in a uh, in a uh, blah 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 in uh, Kansas City, but he messed that up himself. Uh, that 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 that's, that goes on him right there. But but like I said, 
the thing to Thursday was definitely a learning experience. Like I said, two was definitely hum- like his second season. They definitely humbled him. His Thursday, he learned a lot. He learned a lot about himself and his team. So I think he can only do better. And then you have the Steelers, right? They were looking good at the beginning of the season, being undefeated, right? But eventually, they got they caught up to them. Uh, first of all, the offensive line is ooh, they, they uh, uh, Pouncey retired. And Alejandro uh, signed with the Ravens, and it, they did not have a good running back. Uh, no disrespect to James Conner, well, like not a top tier running back. Now they did, uh, they did get that Najee Harris, that running back from, uh, I believe, was it from Alabama in the second round? So I think the guy, the kid's legit. But now, see, I think people people like have this this, this assumption, right? The offensive line makes the running back. They go hand in hand. Like a good running back can knows how to like maneuver through a bad offensive line. If you need an offensive line to uh to, to like make you a running a good a good running back, then you, then you're not a great running back because like I said good good on line or bad line. Um, for the run up, the greatest running backs always know how to find a way. Now, Ezekiel Elliott did have a down year this past season, but it was the first down year. Yes, I understand it is um. His offensive line was hurt, but like, like I said, if you're not running back, you gotta somehow show that you can maneuver through that stuff. Through that stuff, and I think Najee Harris will. But like I said, he's a rookie with that bad offensive line. He, it might take some time. Uh, excuse me, uh, his father time, um, catching up on Ben because he, he just does not look the same. Now they did uh draft uh Kendrick uh, Green, a center, but uh. Do you see that's that's a hard position, honestly, to uh to uh to learn from the start um for a rookie. I mean, I mean, he, I mean, he might, he might, he might, he might, uh, he might surprise. But like, <sighs> you're putting a lot on a rookie center to like get you somewhere. So I don't know. But it was a great, it was a great pick, and uh, buddy, uh, buddy, um. Steelers Grant. It's, it's, it was it was in the third it was in the third round. So I don't think they expect him to start. You never know. I don't know. But I said the, the Steelers offensive line is questionable. Like I I don't know what they what they what they're going to be able to do. I I don't know. Defense they're set. Defense they got they got balls on the defense. Now now granted. That TJ Watt signing, uh, they're they're not having, they're not coming to an agreement agreement right now. But I think they're gonna get a deal done. You can't let that guy walk like 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 you can't. But like, it's the market, man. He wants to be the highest defensive player out there, you know. <sighs> so let's go overpay people. You know what I mean? That's the uh, that will well, and we're not in free agency right now. But like you know, that's what you gotta do. Now he said he'll my set of of a deal's not made, so. I don't know, but then great. If, if TJ Watt can't play, then yeah, that's gonna be a huge, huge blow to the defense. It is. But I said the defense ha- is gonna be, it's gonna be the uh, strength of this team, like it, like it was uh, last year. So I said they, getting Najee Harris was a good move, but like with that bad offensive line, it, it, it's gonna be a struggle. Like I, bl- I believe Najee Harris is gonna be a good running back, even without, a, even without a great offensive line, but. It's, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It, it, it's gonna be tough. But having said all that, like top the teams, I think the Browns are gonna win this division. Like I said, Ravens they just Lamar does not have anybody. Steelers, I I think we might get a repeat of last year. Like I said, defense getting winning them games, but towards the end, uh, offensive line, Big Ben, like just I think Father Time is catching up on Big Ben. I I, I really think it is. I really, really think it is. So, oh, that was, that was disgusting. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I, was, I, don't, I don't think they're going to be able to win, but I think the Browns. This, this is the Browns' year. I love what they did in the in the off season. They're ready, they're, they're ready to make a, uh, an uh, impression to the rest of the NFL. I mean, yeah, they got a they got a uh, playoff win for the first time in like <laughs> decades. But I still feel as though people are still sleeping on the Browns. But I, said, I think Baker Mayfield, Baker Mayfield and the guys are going to get it done. Hopefully, I, I want to see a healthy OBJ and a more mature OBJ because if we get that man, 
Sky, sky's the limit for this offense, man. Like, I'm very excited. And, and I'm happy for the Browns to, like, after all the shit they've been through for so many years, it's like now, you know, put some respect on our name pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think in this uh, for the uh, winners for the uh, AFC North. They guys have the Browns winning, Ravens, or Steelers, because I think we can all agree that the uh, that the uh, Bengals are not uh, winning this division. Unfortunately, unless you know, surprise, surprise, uh, surprises happen. Let's do the injury. You never know. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, be sure that you like this video, share the video, comment the video, uh, like and share it. Um, be sure to listen to uh, listen to us on other uh social media platforms, Facebook. Uh, yeah, you mean can't can't release the whole entire video on Twitter, but like shows previews previews on Twitter on there. Um, be sure to follow it on uh Spotify, Anchor. Or any uh, other uh, podcast devices out there, and also Instagram as well too. So, so it's guys, War and Uncle signing off. Y'all take care, be safe, and always remember, as J Cole said, there is no such thing as life better than yours. Take care, everybody.